What up, gang? Ever used a page builder for WordPress? Well, if you have, I'm about to blow your mind because I'm going to show you that with Focus 1.7, you can design an entire page doing all the stuff you would probably do with a page builder, but you can do it all from the comfort of the WordPress editor. It's so easy. If you can use a word processor, you can create the kinds of pages you imagine, and you're not going to need a page builder or other clunky stuff to add to your WordPress environment to do it. All right, let's dive in. So we're looking at just a basic homepage here. We've got a title, and then I've prepared some content. And uh, this is actually already a pretty cool page because I'm using something, uh, a focus feature called bleeds. These are full width bleeds. And you have 18 colors of bleeds to choose from right out of the box. And you can add these into your content. And I've already added them here on this page to save some time in the video. But you can see I've got a bleed here. I've got a normal section of content, another bleed, and then a bleed at the bottom. All right, but let's see how we can make this page look like we, uh, you know, are, have styled it using a page builder and not with this default WordPress output where we've got like the title of the page and all this other stuff. So let's dive into the content here. We're going to go to this home page. Actually, before we do that, so with Focus 1.7, out of the box, this is how it's going to work. You're going to have a title being output on the home page. If we go to a basic page, like the about page, you get a title, you get a byline. And then if we go to a landing page, you get a title. We don't always want that automatic content to appear, okay? And if we're gonna be building our pages from scratch using the content editor, we don't want that stuff to appear. So with Focus 1.7, we can get rid of that stuff. So we're gonna go into the focus options here, into content and display. We're gonna go into pages and posts, and we're gonna to go to our front page. And the by default, the front page is set to display a headline and a byline, or just the headline, or no headline, no byline. By default, you, you get the headline. But we're going to choose no headline or byline on the front page. We're going to get rid of that. All right? And now let's look at our front page. Here it is. So the title is now gone. The title is gone, and now we've got a bleed as the first thing in our content, which is exactly what we would want to do with a page builder. We want a big strip of color right there across the top to catch people's attention. And it's a real, you know, it's a real clean design. We don't have like a, a color break. There's no unseemly white space. None of that stuff. We've just got, boom, straight to our content. And if we look at this in the editor, if we look at this in the editor, we can see that we've just, we've got a bleed here in the beginning. And then we've got a level two heading. So this is that, that white space after the first bleed. And then we've got another bleed with a pink style. Got a button in there. And then we've got another bleed following that pink bleed. This one's a lavender bleed. And this, this lavender bleed is the last thing in the content. Focus is smart. It realizes that if you've got a bleed first or last in the content, it knows you're going to want that snugged up against the elements that are above and below it. So above is the nav bar, so it snugs up the bleed against the nav bar, and below it, it snugs it up against the footer. So now we've got a perfectly clean presentation, and this whole thing, so everything between the nav bar and the footer, we have designed using the content editor. It's all right here. We didn't need any extra tools. I'm just using things like these focus content styles and this bleed control to add the bleed. I've added a, a heading one here. I put a caption after the heading one and it, it knows what to do. It knows, how, it knows to center it. It knows to do all that stuff. When you include uh, headings inside your content, like an H1, H2, H3, these headings bust outside of the content column. Here, here's the width of the total content column. But the headings, it makes extra room for them so they fit on the page, looking really cool. I mean, this is a professional page. And then, of course, you got your button. The button looks great. You can put captions after H1s, H2s, and H3s, and, of course, after videos and images, things like that. But this is all the stuff you need, all the tools you need to do a professional design presentation, and it's all right here in the editor. And then, if you really want to get crazy and do some page builder-y type stuff, you can add something known as focus cards to your environment. It's a one-time add-on for focus. And then you can, so let's say uh, we want some cards here. So pretend this is a product page and we've introduced the product and now we want to introduce three pricing options or something like that for the product, okay? So we'll replace this section with 
focus cards to do something like I've described. So we'll, we'll do this, we'll snag this little handy short code that I've prepared, and we'll, we'll do this. We will add the short code and we'll eliminate this placeholder text. And there we go. We don't want to get rid of the bleed, but we do want to get rid of that. So there we go. Now we've got our cards in there. The cards are conveyed via a little short code here. I've specified the three cards I want to show. Uh, these are the IDs of the cards. That's done separately. And then uh, I prepare, you prepare the cards separately. And then we, I've specified I want them to display in a grid of three. That means three across the page. So let's see what that looks like. Here we go. Let's see the results. Boom. Okay, so now we've got our home page. We've got this opening section. And then we've got boom, 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 three product options. You can click on these these buttons to go see more about each of these three products. And then as we scroll down the page, we've got these other sections of color. So look at this. This is now a super professional looking homepage with all the elements we want for business stuff or you know to, to display a product or you know convey some idea. Whatever you are trying to do, you can do it with these simple tools. And all you need to do is do the stuff in the editor here in WordPress and you can get these amazing outcomes that most people think you need a page builder to do. It's simply not true. And if you really like to design your pages this way, you don't wanna be constrained by the, the automatic template output in WordPress, all that kind of stuff, you can take this a step further and apply this to your pages. So like I said, here's our about page. The automatic output is gonna put the title up here and it's also going to add a byline with the author. Now you can change what displays in the byline and all that stuff, but with Focus 1.7, we can go in here to our, our content options again. We can go to basic pages and we can eliminate the headline there. Let's do that. So now I've got total control of this page. I could add a bleed if I wanted. I've got a bleed here at the end, got a card here. I could add a bleed at the top if I want to, to mimic what we've done on the home page but this is a little different. But the bottom line is I can now control everything that happens between the nav bar and the footer using the content area here in the editor. I can dictate the whole thing. That's amazing. Now let's go to landing page. Landing pages are really a perfect candidate for this kind of behavior. But again, we've got the title showing by default. Let's go back into our focus content and display options. We'll go to pages. We'll go to focused landing pages, which is this special style of page. We're going to choose no headline or byline on those guys either. And now let's see what we've got. Now this landing page, there's no nav bar. Notice there's no heading, there's no header, there's no nav bar on these landing pages. And everything that you see on this page now is controlled strictly from the content editor everything. So I put a, a heading one here inside this bleed. So the whole page opens with this bleed. I've got my content between it, got some specialty content. This is an alert box that I've extended to push it outside the boundaries of the content column. Here's a regular alert. Here's a note, another note. This is a box, some footnotes, got a bleed at the bottom of the page. Notice it's snug with the bottom of the page. So on the scroll, there's no footer. So this entire page, with the setting I just showed you, you can, you can determine the content of your entire landing page, the whole thing. You can design the whole thing from within the content editor right here. There it is. Didn't need any extra tools, didn't need to uh, learn any new software, none, none of that stuff. If you know how to use a word processor, you can deploy things like these focus content styles and bleeds, and you can do pretty much anything you want. All right, let's go back to that home page and add one more special little feature. So we'll go back to the home page. We'll take a look at this. So what's something else you might like on a home page like this? Well, I like a video to maybe uh, showcase my product, okay? So we will add a video to this using another one-time add-on tool for focus called the YouTube Performance Box. And the reason we want the YouTube Performance Box is because when you add a, a YouTube video to your pages, it typically adds 1.2 to 1.5 seconds of loading time. 
We don't want that. We want to save performance. We want to save that 1.2 to 1.5 seconds. And we can do that by using the YouTube box to display our videos, and that will keep our pages super fast. So what I did, I added this handy short code from the YouTube box. I specified the ID of the YouTube video I want to display, and I added a special wrap parameter that says extend, and that tells focus to make it a big video. All right, let's see what we did. We'll update that. Let's check it out. Ah, as we scroll down, we've got our cards, and now in this section, we've got a huge video that visitors can watch, and they're certainly gonna see this, and they can see what is up with the product. And we're gonna do one more little tweak, because we, if you're gonna include a video, you should put a caption after your video. Add a caption after the video. So we just write some text, and then we choose caption, and now this thing is a caption. You can see it's given it some caption styling, but when we update, and actually look at the page, that caption is gonna be right after the video. So good, this is how you build pages like a pro. You don't need a page builder, a big clunky page builder that slows down your site. Focus is so fast and easy comparatively, you just don't need a page builder. If you can use a word processor, you can do amazing things with focus. You can build extremely professional pages, as you see here using all the tools that you really need, which is like videos and imagery and stuff like that. You use that stuff you're able to deal with, and then you, you format it beautifully with focus. You use these bleeds, you use the settings I showed you, and you're gonna have the fastest, best looking pages on the internet, all right? Thanks for watching. Go get Focus 1.7 from DIYThemes.com. I'll see you later.